Thousands of years ago, Vedas mentioned Chalati Iti Shariram, the body exists to move. Bhagavad Gita says, Yoga Karma Sukaushalam, in action lies mastery. Upanishads teach us, Shariram Khalu Dharma Sadhanam, the body is the vessel of consciousness. And finally, the science confirms what our sages practiced once. Stillness of mind is born from the motion of a body. But somewhere along the way, we stopped moving and started scrolling. You know that feeling that you are staring at notes for hours, but none of it sticks. Your brain is full, but your thoughts are scattered. I have been there too. And for the longest time, I thought that I needed more focus. But it turns out, I just needed more movement. Okay, so here's what happens. When you move, your brain releases BDNF, that is brain-derived neurotrophic factor, a molecule that helps your neurons to grow, connect and remember. Even a single 10-minute walk can raise your BDNF levels and boost your working memory. And by the way, it's proven by research from the University of British Columbia and Stanford. See, our ancestors moved to think, prayed while walking, meditated through motion. They called it Karma Yoga, mindfulness in action. Modern science calls it embodied cognition, Different words, same truth, wisdom lives not in stillness, but in flow. So next time when you study, create or prepare for something big, don't sit still. Take your mind for a walk. Because memory isn't built just by repetition alone. It's shaped by rhythm, by breath, by movement. Walk your thoughts into your memory. Think about it.